burgeoning economic development in states and the government are vying to assert tribal regulations of on-reservation business relationship, relationships with consumers who voluntarily choose to do business with tribes. We must strike back now. Tribes have, have, made, have made major investments in their financial services enterprises in reliance upon federal policies that strongly encourage ingenuity in economic development that will lead to self-sufficiency and self-determination. These actions by the state of New York and by Federal Consumer Protection Agency are just the latest attacks upon our sovereignty and in our ability to provide for our people. <coughs> Gentry pointed out, not all reservations are equal economics opportunity. An over overwhelming ma majority of the Indians on the reservation in the United States do not have the ability to create economic parity with their surrounding non-Indian communities. A very small percentage of the tribes have sufficient on-reservation resource to raise members' standard of living. If tribes do not find a way of, of engaging in commerce off the, their reservation, they will forever condemn the, to poverty and all of the social consequences of that poverty. The internet is our hope for bringing commerce to our reservations with surrendering our sovereignty. Through the internet, we can complete the off with off-reservation businesses by inviting people from anywhere to voluntarily do business with us in coordinates to the tribal laws and regulations. The consumer has a choice of engaging with us or with with us or with a non-tribal competitor. If the consumer engages with the, a tribe's enterprise, he chooses tribal terms. If the consumer engages with a business outside the reservation, he or she chooses to have state laws apply. It is a reasonable for the consumer to expect to have tribal laws apply, especially when contract terms spe specify. If tribes do not unite back, states and federal agencies will control both on reservations and off reservation businesses. If we value our sovereignty, we have no choice to fight back and fight back now. I support and encourage all Great Plains tribal nations to stand with me and support Butch Webb and his native owned companies. His battle is just as important to the defense of our sovereignty from states. Together as native leaders, we together as native leaders as well as tribal members, we must stand unified or fall divided. A divided house does not stand, but unified. We can win this violation of tribal jurisdiction by states. So that was that letter that Mike Jandrew sent over from Lower Room.